Good morning, happy Sabbath. It's always great to be able to be here with you all. Uh, I know I'm away quite often, but God is good that I'm able to be here with you all. Um, my wife does say hello. She's looking forward to worshiping with you all next week as well. Um, before we begin, let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, Thank you so much for once again allowing the opportunity to be able to worship your name. Lord, we know that some don't have that option. And so, Lord, we're grateful that we are able to have that option today. And Lord, as I speak, Lord, I just want you to speak through me that the message reaches someone here today or it reaches everybody. Lord, the, the main thing is that I want your word to be heard by somebody. And so, Lord, forgive me for my sins. Forgive me for my shortcomings. Lord, thank you for your grace and mercy. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So as I was working on this sermon, I came to a conclusion that in order to make something of yourself, there are a couple important things that must take place. One, you must know, must know that God has protected you all the way up to this point. Amen. The second thing is that you have to have some level of determination to finish this race we called life. And without these two factors, I know for myself that I would have never made it this far. Amen. And... So that's the reason why I'm so grateful for the title of this message that we need to be determined to see Jesus. And so I hope you don't mind for today. I would like to be a little interactive. I think sometimes when we're interactive with each other, it brings out a beautiful worship. So I have a question for you. What is determination to you? Now, it's a hard question to answer when you really think about it. Go ahead. Never give up. Never give up. That's wonderful. Anybody else? How about keep going forward? Keep going forward. See, when I was doing this sermon, when I was preparing it, I didn't know the answer to it because I try to really think about it. And so I had to look it up on my best friend, Google, you know, because Google has the best dictionary out there and it gives the best type of um, definitions. So what it showed me was that determination is a positive emotional feeling that involves persevering towards a difficult goal in spite of obstacles. Now, we as human beings, we have a determination when it comes to a lot of things. When we want a new car, we are willing to do whatever it takes to get that new car. And we also have, do have the determination to get that house we always wanted. We have the determination when we want, to, when, want those things, we have this determination to work the overtime at work. We have the determination to get a second job. We have a determination to sacrifice on the things that we truly love to do in order to have the money to afford these things. But I have a question for you. With all of that happening, and you know that about yourself, who has the determination to see Jesus? That's a very powerful question in itself, because right now in our lives, if we were to tr truly be honest, there are so many obstacles that are standing in front of us, right? Some of those obstacles that stand in front of our, our way, you know, they sometimes may get us down. They may sometimes, you know... They sometimes may want us to stop, quit fighting for what we want in life. And whenever those things are happening, 
you know, do we have the determination to get around those obstacles? And so the other reason why I ask that question is because when we look at the fact of do we have the determination to see Jesus, the devil is putting obstacles in our way at this moment in time. The reason is, is to keep us from searching for Jesus, to keep us from going over these obstacles to get to Jesus. So who has the determination to get around those obstacles to see Jesus? And so when I think about those questions, you know, we have our 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 great friend here in the Bible, you know, and I think about the stories that we could see from people who had determination to see Jesus. And so these people had they were not going to let anything from getting they were not going to let anything getting in their way to stop them from seeing Jesus. The first story I would like to talk to you about is in the book of Luke, chapter 19, verses 1 through 10. It's a story about Zacchaeus. And I don't know about you. Once again, we're going to be in the book of Luke, chapter 19, verses 1 through 10. And but. I do know that the first time that I ever learned about Zacchaeus was in a children's song. Was that the first time for you guys? See, the song goes like this. Zacchaeus was a wee little man and a wee little man was he. He climbed up in the sycamore tree for the Lord he wanted to see. And as the Savior passed that way, he looked up in the tree and he said, Zacchaeus, you come down for I'm going to your house today. So that is exactly how I learned about Zacchaeus for the first time. It wasn't until I got older and I read the story myself that there is so much more to this tax collector named Zacchaeus. There is so much more to this story. But however, I am truly grateful for this song because I would have never learned about Zacchaeus for the first time if it wasn't for this children's song. I also believe that sometimes we have to be reminded of our childhoods because sometimes the things that we learned in our childhoods is very rewarding for our adult lives. So here we are. We're in the book of Luke, chapter 19, verses 1 through 10. The Bible says, Jesus entered Jericho and was passing through. A man by the there and a man was there by the name of Zacchaeus. He was a chief tax collector and was wealthy. He wanted to see who Jesus was, but because he was short, he could not see over the crowd. And now, as we stop right there and we compare this children's song to what the Bible is saying right now, we know that this song is correct. Because he was short. Once again, I went to my good friend Google and I decided to tap in or type in how tall was Zacchaeus? And Zacchaeus was around four feet, 10 inches tall. And I like to give or take a few because we're also trusting the Internet. OK. And so here we are. The Bible says that he could not see who Jesus was because he was short. So now, as we continue in the story, we can see that there was this crowd of people who were gathered around to see Jesus. But because Zacchaeus was short, we can imagine that four feet, 10 inches tall is maybe around here. So we can see that with this big crowd, there was people who were taller than Zacchaeus, who were maybe stronger than Zacchaeus. These people, they were just bigger than Zacchaeus. Let's let's call it that. So we know that there were obstacles in front of Zacchaeus's way. 
But what does the rest of the song say? He climbed up in a sycamore tree for the Lord he wanted to see. And so Zacchaeus was not going to sit there and be like, well, like some of us maybe where they say, well, these things are happening. And I guess that's just the way that it is. Zacchaeus was not going to do what uh, just settle. He was going to do whatever it took to get across those obstacles so he could see Jesus. So my question to you is, do we have the determination to see Jesus? So here we are. We're in Luke chapter 19, verses 1 through 10. All right. So let's continue. So the Bible says that Zacchaeus ran ahead and climbed up into a sycamore tree for he was going to pass that way. And when Jesus came to the place, he looked up and saw him and said to him, Zacchaeus, make haste and come down for I must stay at your house today. Looking at a chief tax collector, we know that being a chief tax collector, you robbed everybody you could. You took everything that they had. So to be a chief tax collector means you were really robbing people of everything that they had. And the fact that Jesus stops and looks up and says, Zacchaeus, come down. I must stay at your house today. Means that we are never too far out of the way where God cannot reach us and bring us back home. The beautiful thing about that is that <laughs> it's Zacchaeus. There was a conversion when he met Christ. He, when he had this encounter, there was a conversion that happened. And what did Zacchaeus tell him? Zacchaeus was going to give back just about everything to whom he robbed. The, what Jesus told him, I find to be particularly interesting. Jesus says, in verse 9, today salvation has come to this house because he is also a son of Abraham. Verse 11 is very important, too. Or I'm sorry, verse 10. Jesus says, for the son of man came to seek and to save the lost. Sometimes the things we do in our lives, we, we somehow start to feel that we may be lost in our own selves. But the determination to see Jesus is very important because we have to do whatever it takes to see Jesus. We have to climb up our sycamore tree. We have to know that Jesus is going to pass our way. We have to know that Jesus is going to look at us and say, please come down. I'm going to stay at your house today. Amen. It's so beautiful because when we have this determination, when we are determined to move around these obstacles, when we are determined that we are not going to allow anybody to stop us from seeing Jesus, and we have an encounter with him, we start to have be converted ourselves. There's a conversion. To know that a chief tax collector is going to give back everything that he took from someone, there has to be a conversion that takes place. He was never going to do that before he met Jesus. He had no intention to. 
But as soon as they laid eyes on each other, there was a conversion that took place. We need to be converted. Amen. As we go into another story about the lady who had an issue of blood. This lady for 12 years was bleeding. She, she gave all her money to try to figure out what was happening, to get it to stop. She did everything. She was an outcast. Nobody would touch her. Nobody would talk to her because they considered her unclean. Jesus passes by her way. Big crowd of people. Remind you that this lady has tried everything. But yet she has not tried Jesus. But she knew that if only she touched the hem of his garment, she would be made whole. Just a touch, not even flesh, just a garment. Jesus tells her, well, first of all, Jesus, I believe he was so cool in the story. He knew who, who touched her, but he stopped and said, who touched me? And she was scared. And she, she said it was me. But. She needed to be healed. This crowd of people that was around there, remind you, she's an outcast. She was not supposed to be there. And so her level of determination to see Jesus again, she was willing to go past any obstacles. She crawled on the floor just to touch the hem of Jesus' garment and be made whole. The, the last verse in that story is, is wonderful, too, because he said, daughter, your faith has made you whole. Amen. We need to be determined to see Jesus. Amen. We have so many trials. We have so many tribulations. Some, sometimes we may have aches, we may have pains, and we're like, oh, we don't want to get up and do this Bible study. Oh, man, well, you know, I have so many other things to do. You know, I could pray just a little bit later on. I may not start my day off with Jesus, but I'll end it. And sometimes those in between that time, Things occur that quit, that gets us to not look forward to Jesus. You said that a definition for you of determination is to keep moving forward. But if we allow the obstacles that get in our way, it stops us from moving forward. Sometimes we think that we're the only people that are going through these problems. And sometimes we think that we could correct them all our own. Sometimes we even do try to play God in our own lives. And yet, when we try to handle the obstacles on our own, we still come up short. Why is that? It's because we stop having the determination to see Jesus. This race that we call life, right, is coming to an end. One day, Jesus is, those skies are going to roll back. Jesus is going to appear. And then what? If we allow the obstacles that are in our way to stop us from seeing Jesus, when those skies roll back and Jesus comes, we won't be caught up to meet Jesus in the air because we were too preoccupied with our obstacles in the first place. We must do everything we can to see Jesus. We must be determined. That's the reason why for this morning's scripture in 1 Corinthians. You know, um, I'm going to read it once again. 
And that was 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verses 24 through, 30, through 27. The Bible says, Do you know that those who run in a race all run, but one receives the prize? Run in such a way that you may obtain it. And everyone who competes for the prize is temperate in all things. Now, they do it to obtain a perishable crown, but we for an imperishable crown. Therefore, I run this race not with uncertainty. Thus, I fight not as one who beats the air, but I discipline my body and bring it into subjection lest when I have preached to others, I myself should be d disqualified. This race that we run in is not like the Boston Marathon. It's not. For that, one gets a crown, but the very next year, someone else can win that very same crown. We are running a race that when we receive this crown, that can never be taken from us. It's an everlasting crown to be with our everlasting Savior so we can live with him everlasting. See, when I was younger, I used to be this, this martial artist, right? And when we practice and when we train, we trained our body in such a way that when we fought, that we would not be hurt. We fought with the reaction. We trained our muscles for muscle memory. I believe the same exact training needs to be for, for studying as well. We need to train our minds. We need to train our bodies that we are going to be a witness for the Lord. This right here, Amen. this Bible, the words in it, this what, what it contains is so important to this race so important to our training that when those obstacles get in our way, just like the Olympic runners for hurdlers, when those when those hurdles come, they jump over them. Right. This word that we are studying, this word that we are training our bodies with, when those obstacles get in our way, we just jump right over. them. One day, Jesus is going to be here. We have to do whatever it takes to see Jesus. We don't have much time left. The thing about it is, is whenever I preach here, I always tell you when we get to heaven, I want each of you guys to be there. I want you to see me there as well as I want to see all of you all there. Amen. It's important that we train our bodies this way. It's important that we get this word in our minds. It's important that we live a life for Jesus. It, it's important that we have a determination that we can, that we are not going to settle. Settling will get us not to see Jesus. I challenge you today that when we leave here, invite one person. Let them know that there is a determination that we have to have, that we need to see Jesus, that Jesus is coming. Invite one person because there's a message that they need to hear. There's a message, there's an encounter that they need to have with Jesus that starts their conversion. And the more that we do that, the more we start to have this close relationship with the Lord. And the more that we do that, the more we have an encounter and the more we start to be converted. It is so important in this time right now. We know that Jesus is coming soon by everything that is happening. We know that we don't have much time left. My prayer is that we have the determination Things that look good to us right now that are not of Christ are only temporary. They will not last when Jesus comes. Everything will burn up but the word of the Lord. 
It is time for us to have a determination like no other. It is, it is time for us to show others who Christ is. It is time for us to do the work of the Lord. As I close, I'm always going to tell you Jesus is coming. Always going to. What else do we have to look forward to? The fact that Jesus is coming. That's the only thing we have to look forward to in this moment in time right now. Out there, there is no hope. But the only hope that we have is in Christ Jesus. Please be determined. May God bless you.